Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. I was just chatting with a friend this morning and we were talking about um, the fact that this, this quarantine crisis really brings out a lot of anxiety and people were, were worrying about our own health, the health of our families. We're worrying about, um, you know, circumstances that we really can't control, i.e. this virus. Um, when we go out to the grocery store, you know, everyone's wearing a mask and we're standing six feet apart. We're not allowed in public places. Um, we really see that, you know, we don't have a lot of control over things. So that can be really anxiety producing and frustrating for a lot, a lot of women. Hi, Kylie. Good morning. Um, and it can compound issues that are already there. Hi, Lacey. Uh, a lot of women struggle with anxiety just in general. And, you know, when situations present themselves that are out of the ordinary, that anxiety can really be exacerbated. Hey, Anna. Um, and so I wanted to touch base with you guys this morning and just give you a couple of, you know, tips and tricks to reduce anxiety just in general, but then specific ways to reduce anxiety during the quarantine and during the fear of, of COVID. And um, it's not just the virus. I'm here Hearing from a lot of people and feeling it myself, but you know, the economic impact, uh, what's going to be going on uh, in our world after we come out of quarantine, the anxiety of being responsible for our children's education, uh, you know, maybe for the first time for a lot of women. And, and men too, hi Nikki. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of new responsibilities, a lot of new issues that are being kind of foisted upon women um, that can really, like I said, exacerbate anxiety that is already there. So I'm gonna give you three tips today to bring down anxiety during quarantine and hopefully those tips can go with you past, um, you know, quarantine, all right? The first tip, and no one is gonna be surprised here, is to get enough protein. I cannot tell you this enough, I really can't. If you are finding your Self snacking and you know eating too much sugar and processed foods, that blood sugar roller coaster will spike your anxiety. What anxiety is is number one, you know, a, a response. If you're if you're a Christian, you know, you realize that you're you really aren't in control, um, and so you've got a little bit more peace about the fact that the Lord is in control. Um, and if you don't know the Lord and you're not you don't have that peace, like you can get a hold of me, you can DM me, we can talk about it sometime. Um, uh, but for a lot of women, it's also a biological and chemical issue as well. And what happens with anxiety is a dysregulation of cortisol levels. Cortisol is your stress hormone. We talked about it yesterday, your fight or flight hormone. Um, it's the hormone that really bumps you up. It dilates your pupils. It raises your, your blood glucose. Um, it raises your heart rate. You start sweating. It raises your body temperature. Um, all blood is diverted to, uh, bodily processes that are necessary and not unnecessary. And so this is, you, you'll feel the effects. You'll feel the effects of that cortisol. When you have dysregulated cortisol for too long, uh, your backup stress hormones do come online. Those are adrenaline and noradrenaline. And we've talked about this in videos before as well, but but when you think about you know the traditional adrenaline rush you feel that physically um, it is a rush in the body you get all hot and sweaty your palms get clammy um, you know you breathe faster uh, your body is primed to either run or fight and so when the cortisol response is dysregulated and those backup stress hormones come online you can have a constant feeling of being ready to fight or flight. And that is a traditional physical anxiety response. And so when you realize it for what it is, when you realize that it's a, a biological and chemical issue and not necessarily a completely emotional issue, you have some, some things you can do about it, right? You can bring down those stress hormones through diet, through supplements and through lifestyle. And so, as I said, the first thing that we are going to work on is getting enough protein three times a day. I'll be, I'll be in a minute. Okay. We're homeschooling. So I'll be right in. I promise. I'll help you in a little bit. Anyone else? Any other moms out there doing this? Um, we will finish all of your work. I promise. Um, getting enough protein protein and the amino acids associated with protein are going to regulate your blood sugar specifically methionine which is yeah we're all homeschooling here which is uh, an amino acid that is only found in meat and will regulate your blood sugar in sufficient amounts methionine and its associated amino acids are also necessary for liver work so your liver is the great detoxifier your liver is the locus of, of energy and also anger in the body in chinese medicine 
time. And so if you're feeling a little bit more agitated with irritability, you know you've got some work to do on your liver. And the first thing I'd recommend, again, is good quality protein. So get out um, you know, to the grocery store if you need to, wearing your mask, of course, or utilize some of the delivery options that we have in town. Um, Red House Beef, I know, is delivering. Um, my sister's restaurant, Dot Knot, is delivering. Um, many other restaurants are delivering, not only restaurants, but also fast food places. And I'm not telling you that you have to have like this pristine protein three times a day. Just get your protein three times a day. So fish, shellfish, red meat, poultry, um, you know, those are great ways to get in your protein. And that, that, that first step regulating your blood sugar will help bring down that physical uh, anxiety response. All right. The second thing that I wanted to chat with you about is also uh, what we talked about yesterday, magnesium, my miracle mineral, um, not mine, but you know, that's alliteration. It's three M's there. You know, sometimes we like alliteration. Um, the miracle mineral of magnesium is very helpful for your anxiety response. And in that regard, if anxiety is a physical issue for you, you're going to want the magnesium citrate. So we've talked about that before the natural calm powder, that magnesium citrate is, is soothing on a few levels. Number one, it is a powder. And so it's going to get through your digestive tract into your bloodstream a little bit quicker than a tablet, which your hydrochloric acid in your stomach has to dissolve first. And so you're going to feel the effects of that relaxing, uh, mineral, more quickly than you would if you're taking a pill. Um, I recommend one to two teaspoons to start with, but sometimes if you're in a pickle and you've got a lot of anxiety, you're gonna need up to a tablespoon. So you're gonna drink that in a mug, a, warm, a mug of warm water. It is super effervescent, so be very careful. Add water very slowly or you will waste all of your magnesium citrate. I've done this many times before. Um, so add that magnesium. And if, if anxiety is something that's constantly with you, you can add that magnesium powder. Hey, Olivia. You can add the magnesium to a water bottle and just start sipping it throughout the day. Little tiny bits of magnesium um, in small concentrations throughout the day is very helpful for that re uh, reversal of anxiety as well. Again, as a physical, a physical trait. So we have plenty of protein to balance your blood sugar and thus reduce anxiety because it reduces your cortisol and adrenaline response, which again are you know the biochemical reasons that we can experience anxiety. And then sufficient amounts of magnesium, which truly is your <laughs> your relaxing mineral. So again, calcium is a contractor. Magnesium is a relaxer. It works on your muscles. It works on your nervous system. Um, it works on your gut and your enteric nervous system to really relax everything. And when your gut's in check, the rest of your body will follow. All disease truly does start in the gut. So use that magnesium as a gut soother and then a nervous system tonic as well. All right, other supplements that you can use for anxiety, uh, COVID-related anxiety, and then also, you know, regular anxiety. Uh, my favorite is GABA, always starting with 125 milligrams, just a little tablet. Source Naturals has an excellent product called GABA Calm. Uh, 125 milligram uh, tablet is a great place to start. You let it dissolve under your tongue. Again, getting into that sublingual mucosa, and so it gets into your bloodstream faster than, you know, swallowing it and waiting for the effects. Um, GABA is also an amino acid. It works as a precursor to serotonin in the brain. Many of us are deficient in serotonin, especially if our guts are all screwed up. Serotonin is made in your gut. So if you've got a, a weird gut, you probably don't have enough serotonin and by extension, enough B vitamins, which are also very calming and relaxing to the body. Hey, Gina. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that, you know, you, you titrate down that cascade, starting with protein next up with magnesium. If you still need a, a tier three, then you can add on that GABA 125 milligrams just to start with. Other herbs that are very helpful for relaxing, passion flower or passiflora, um, and you can get a tincture. You can also get um, a, like the powder. You can get like powdered passion flower from something, a company like Mountain Rose Herbs or Bulk Herb Co or regular Herb Co. Um, I, I'll buy the powdered flowers because they're organic and I know where the source is and I'll just add a little bit of that powder to my magnesium. It's really helpful before bed. Passion flower is an excellent nerve sedative, not in a way that is, you know, where you're like actually sedated, but it works on the nervous system to really relax you. And passion flower is the strongest herb that will do that in the gentlest way. So let's say you don't want to work on your serotonin levels with GABA. You can definitely start with a little bit of passion flower. If you don't want to order a whole, you know, quarter pound or a whole pound from, um, you know, bulk herb company or something like that, you can just get a tincture, like I said, on Amazon. 
Um, passion flower also comes in capsules, but I do find that herbs work the best in a tincture or as a powder. All right. Uh, other herbs that are very calming are chamomile or chamomilla. And again, you can order that as a flower or a, a powder from an herb company, or you can just get a tincture from a place like Lassen's or Cones or um, Sprouts. Uh, or on Amazon, okay? And a tincture is just a little bit of the herb that is suspended in alcohol. Alcohol does help the body absorb the herb better, and so you get it into your system faster, all right? Um, so passion flower and chamomile, those two work very well alone or together. A third herb to throw in the mix is oat straw. Oat straw is a bit of an outlier. Not a lot of people know about it, but it works in the same way. It's similar in properties to hops, which is what they put in beer. Um, and hops is also very uh, a sedating herb. So you're not taking a ton of these things. Just experiment with like a little pinch. I will add those herbs to my magnesium and drink it as a, as, as a drink, a warm tea. So that's a great place to start. And if you're going out and that gives you anxiety, like my friend and I were talking about today, she had to have you know her significant other come to the grocery store with her because it was just overwhelming to think about all of these things, right? Too much going on and that really can arrest your nervous system. So you can put all of these things in a bottle of water and sip on them throughout the day. You can have them in the morning in, instead of coffee, which you should probably do if you're dealing with anxiety, or you can have them as a tonic before you go to sleep at night. So protein, magnesium, GABA, and then our three herbs, passion flower, uh, chamomile, and oat straw. If there's any uh, questions you guys have on that, let me know in the comments. Hey, Allison. Um, and if this can help anybody that you know, please pass it along. I, I hope it does. Have a wonderful day, ladies. Thanks for watching. Bye.